Joshua chapter 5, there's, there's kind of two segments to it. The first segment is they're approaching Jericho. Joshua's the new leader. And so the Lord speaks to Joshua. And he says, I want you to circumcise all the men. And here's what's going on. After 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, a new generation has arisen. Those who wouldn't believe, those who wouldn't go into the promised land, have kind of died in the wilderness. And now there's a whole new group of men following Joshua, the new leader. It's a new day, and he says they need to be circumcised. So that's what happens. It's a sign of they're set apart for the Lord. It's a sign that they belong to him. And once that is established, once that's secure in their minds, now they're going to go into the city of Jericho. And Joshua begins to head them in that direction. But listen to these verses. Something very interesting happens. It says, It came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, and behold, a man stood before him with his sword drawn. This is verse 13. And with his sword drawn in his hand, and Joshua went into him and said to him, Are you for us? Are you for our adversary? And here's what this man says. He says, No. But a commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face on the earth and worshiped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? And the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandals off, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. So here's a strange little story. After they're set apart and he's checking out Jericho, he meets this angel, it seems. Some say maybe even the Lord himself. Take off your sandals, it's holy ground. And he says, well, are you for us? Are you for our enemy? He says, no. He doesn't really answer the question. But what Joshua finds out is that he's not in charge, but the Lord is in charge. He goes, I'm not on any side. I'm the Lord. So the question is, are you for me? Are you for the Lord's army or your own army? And what's being established is not only because of the circumcision, we belong to the Lord, but also because of this situation with the man with the sword, the Lord's in charge. He'll fight our battle. We need to trust him. It's kind of like this. In Joshua chapter 5, it's a fresh surrender and setting apart of the people and a fresh surrender and setting apart of Joshua, their leader. And this is the story of following the Lord. It's a daily, it's a weekly, it's a monthly, it's a yearly fresh surrender to who's in charge and who we've been set apart to follow. It's the Lord. We're not in charge. He is. And He will take us into the land and He will fight our battles.